What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am back with your questionnaire. Um, yeah, so, um, tried to sit somewhere different besides the bathroom. Something like the light was too bright. Ooh, ooh, I see my dirty bathroom. I gotta clean it anyway. I had to clean my room too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll get to that. But I wanted to get this questionnaire out the way because it was long waited for. So I'm going to be answering your questions to the best of my ability and as honest as possible. Um, the red print below when I posted this post on my story last night on Instagram, I said um, in the red print below, um, rude questions is not included. So I won't, I won't be I won't be answering those. Um, Anything that would um, cause drama or unneeded drama, you know, to this, yeah, family. Anything incriminating no, will, will not be answered. Sorry. So, sorry, you know, not going to happen. I am going to try to answer 10 to 15 questions. I'm going to try to answer 10 to 15 questions uh, according to my, I'm letting y'all know, I'm going to let y'all see. So y'all don't think I'm just saying this or whatever. Oh my God, I can see. This is terrible. These are my responses. That's what I'm trying to show you. And uh, I'm going to answer uh, 10 to 15, like I said. And uh, I want to go through and pick them. I, I may answer more. It depends on how long it takes me to answer, uh, you know, like one or I'm always the type of person that always kind of like got to break it down, whatever. I'll try to make it short as possible. But first, I'd like to thank you all for the 100K subscribers. Um, thank you all uh, to my supporters. I thank you so much. Not only that, I thank you for the encouragement that you give me day by day to keep going on this diet. Y'all keep me going. Y'all, you know, y'all be geeking people's head up. Y'all do that on purpose, man. Anyway, I feel good. I feel good. Um, I just really thank y'all. I really do. I thank y'all so much. The first question, I don't know if y'all want me to call out names and stuff like that. I am. Actville E says, how did you become so successful? I want to say, um, God, God is the reason for everything. How do you get God to answer your prayers? First of all, to get God to answer your prayers, you need to be in a place where God can hear you. Um, if God can't hear you, if you're not in a place where God can't hear you, which meaning you have to cleanse yourself. You have to get yourself right. Oh, uh, you can't, we can't come before a king any old kind of way. We have to uh, grace his throne with respect and honor. And you don't want to come filthy in any kind of way. When I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the outer appearance. I'm talking about your inside. You've got to get yourself in a place where God can hear your prayers. And that means cleansing yourself as repenting. You need to humble yourself. Um, you got to forgive because if you don't forgive others, God is not going to forgive you. That's scripture. And, um... You be as humble and, and and most gracious as possible. Bashkas, have you ever met Armand and Trey? If not, did you listen to their la latest song? Of course I met. <laughs> Armand and Trey go back with a... Uh, they were uh, friends before a YouTube thing with uh, Queen. Um, They was in that apartment with Queen on um the Red Couch Days. Um, before they all were famous, you know, um, of course I, I listened to all his songs. Um, we're around them. They're good friends of Queen. I've been with their mom, um, Keita, me and her hung out. We got to hang out again. Uh, yeah, real close. We're friends, close friends. You know, can you put more younger pictures of you? Um, I don't have that many unless I go get to my family. Unless I ask them what pictures of me when I was younger. Sometimes I get bullied for my weight. How do you block out the negative things so well? Amaya? Amaya. Loving yourself. Loving yourself and not caring about what nobody's saying. 
Um, yes, they say sticks and stones may break my bones, but names names will never hurt me. That's that's not true. Names do hurt. But um, the best thing we can do to uh, block out uh, negative things, uh, we can do things about it. You know, um, take for instance me. People don't mind calling me fat, especially when they get mad. You know what I'm saying? But when you see me doing something about it, then what else can you say? You know what I'm saying? I'm better in myself. Um, you got to do things to better yourself to make you happy. At the same time, you make, you're not going to drop all your weight at one time. But at the same time, while you're losing weight, you're going to look good while you're losing weight. And you're going to continue to come down. But you're going to do that for yourself. You know? And, and negativity, um, I, would, I wouldn't worry about it so much because, I mean, how can... You know, they may talk about your weight, but they may be ugly. They may be bald-headed. You know what I'm saying? So everybody got flaws and stuff like that. But I say to block out the negativity, don't surround yourself with those type of people. Don't even be in their company, baby. How do you stick to your diet? First off, um, it's a life change. I don't even call it a diet no more. It's a life change. Um, I feel so much better in my body than I did before. I'm looking good, my skin feels good, my heart ain't feeling funny, like, you know, I just like tired out and, you know, um, and with the help, first and foremost, of God, I pray to him, Lord, don't let me fall. Don't let me fall no more. I always get to a certain size where I start looking good and I fall back because I done got all geeked and happy. God, ask God to keep you in your diet, but it does feel good. It does feel good along the way to cleanse your body and keep it going. And in order to encourage me, get people around you that's going to encourage you. Like my love bugs and love muffins, encourage me. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? I don't want to. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to answer that so quick. You got to think because we always say, well, I would you know, I would do Well, first off, I would bless others because that's the type of person I am. I like to give back. Uh, I would pay all my debt off, uh, try to invest in me a business where I could keep that money flowing and going, um, help those in need, especially my mama. Um, I would help my, my family um, get some things that they, they need. I know a million dollars ain't a lot, but like I said, when you start a business and invest things, invest that money, that money can go a long way. I would be wise with it. Just to answer that real quickly, I would be wise with it. How would you describe your fashion style? I don't know. I'm, I, sometimes I get classy with it. Sometimes I get sassy with it. Sometimes they, they don't call me Reva Diva for nothing. Are you excited for another grandchild? Of course. I love all my grandbabies. How did you meet Queen's dad? I met Queen's father uh, 1993. And uh, we was on a job together. Worked at a plant called Turnus Packaging Company plant was full of black folk and Arabs. That's all you saw up in there. Black folks and Arabs. And uh, and they happened to put us on the same assembly line together where it was just me and him over at the uh, packaging parts and uh, plastic. He would put the part in the bag and I would seal the bag or we would switch off, you know. And we just got to talking and he invited me over. Of course, I didn't go right away because you know, I'm scary, you know. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know him. But, you know, as we got to laughing and talking on the job, we became friends, you know. So I went by his house and became friends. And you know how, you know how stuff take off from there, y'all. You know, but he was a real special guy. And uh, Queen gets a lot of her um, mannerisms from him. I was hurt when I found out that he passed. Only reason why I wasn't with Queen's father, y'all, is because the religion was different. Um... I was already Christian, and he was already who he was, Muslim. And uh, but we still, we we it wasn't planned, you know. We was friends, and then all the the feelings, you know, got there. And um, but if it wasn't for that, that that religion, I, I'd have been with him. That was that was a nice, that was the sweetest man. Mama, love. What's your favorite color? And somebody is calling me at the same time. My favorite color royalty color is purple i love purple and and the main color i like besides purple y'all y'all can see it it's on me i like black i like black clothes i like black cars i like black men <laughs> i love he's a black man y'all 
uh dark is the way to go dark is sexy to me that's 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 just what i like you know why doesn't queen spend more time with her sister well um queen grown uh tina almost there but at the same time queen got a life of her own y'all queen you know tina got her her lifestyle her friends uh, which is her her and Terrell's friends are all basically all the same friends. Queen got her friends, you know. Older siblings never hang out. If you notice, older siblings hardly ever hang out with their younger siblings, their younger brothers and sisters. They don't. They be out with their friends. They're more independent. Um, and they're you know busy. Her life is busy. I mean, she's on. She was on tour. Um, she's she's got studio time. She's got a life. I mean, that's why she's not with her sister. She. Why doesn't Queen spend more time with her sister? I mean. Just because she's busy, I guess. Tina, and if she wasn't busy, Tina would be busy. You know, they they both doing different things. You know, they got, both got different things going on. But that doesn't mean they don't love each other. Do animals have souls? My parrot was my parrot was dying, and I was praying, and my pastor dad said they have none. Your pastor's dad is right. Animals don't have a soul, baby. They just go on to sleep. They don't rest. They ain't got a answer to God for the things that we have to answer to. We are put here on this earth for examples. We are put here on this earth because we are supposed to compel one another to uh, come to Jesus Christ to be saved. We're trying to get as many as we can while we're here and then he don't send animals. So that parrot all right. He don't, he sleep. He don't even know he sleep. Jazzy, Jaquine, where do you see yourself in the next five years spiritually with health romance and location well, why did i answer that because i don't know y'all i don't know what the future holds. i just know that my expectations what i what i what i would like to uh be um uh, i, I want to still be healthy that's why i'm getting myself in order now five years of course i'm gonna be older so um i don't know what location i'm gonna be uh i say that i'm going back home you know um to Michigan. I may be back and forth between Atlanta and Michigan. Who knows? But I know I want to be around some people that love me. I want to be around family. I want to be around. I want to be surrounded by people that I'm familiar with and know. You know. Um, as far as spiritually, I see myself growing spiritually in the Lord. Because I'm going to be doing everything God tells me to do. And God's got a plan for me. God's got a plan for me. It's going to be some places that I'm going to go into and speak. It's going to be some places that I'm going to be called to. Um... To, to minister and motivate and I, when I say minister I don't have a license to ordain license to pastor uh, evangelize or anything like that but I can be a motivational speaker for the Lord I can go tell what the, God has done for me and um, <clears throat> give my life experiences as I do um, also and romance, I don't know where I'm going to be with, with romance. I, I said this the other night. If God sent me somebody, I said, Lord, if you send me somebody, that's fine. That's fine. But if you don't, that's fine too. You know what? I've learned in life that I want what God has for me. Because when God, when God has something for you, you cannot go wrong. He sees the big picture. He knows all. We don't know all. So we can get up the road somewhere and thinking we all good. And then later on, that relationship could be all... You know, there's a, I don't know. I'm not going to look down and bad on relationships. But whatever God has for me, I'll accept. What career did you want as a child versus as an adult? When I was 19, I went to beauty school, y'all. I went to beauty school. Found out it was just competition. You got to stay up on your game. Then I went to be, become a medical assistant. I worked in a hospital as a phlebotomist. My knee got messed up. Um, what I want to be... Uh, and what that's what I, I don't know what I wanted to be as a child because as a child I was being wild I'm not gonna lie but as an adult those are the things that I did as far as working in the uh the medical field as far as anywhere from phlebotomist to a caregiver to a medical assistant um and stuff like that um what's my re what was my reaction to Queen's pregnancy um uh, I mean she already had CJ, so the initial first shock was over. But now she a grown, full-grown woman now, so. Is Queen half Yemeni? Yes, she is. Yeah, her father's Yemeni. What's your favorite memory as a mother? When I first seen my babies born. I had um, cesarean with all three of my children. 
And um, when um, they took my babies out my belly and laid them over in the incubator and I can stare over at them and say, oh my God, I just had a baby. That's just my, those are my favorite memories. Would you ever consider working out with a supporter? Yeah. Who am I? I I'm friendly. Hey, you want friends? You show yourself friendly. I ain't got no problem working out with supporters. Oh, what was the most difficult obstacle you have overcame in life and how? Oh, that's a good one. Oh my God, y'all. I, I had overcame so many obstacles in my life. Um, I used to hate myself. That was one major one. I used to hate myself. Um, I used to um, hurt myself when I was young. Um, I used to look at, in the mirror at myself and tell myself, I hate you. And um, self-destruction, hurt myself, you know. Not to the point of death, but I would scratch myself. I was a troubled teenager, y'all. I was a troubled teenager. That's why I can understand, you know, as far as, you know, teenagers. I understand the stuff that y'all go through. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. But God was the one who got me over that obstacle. God was the one who taught me to love myself. God sent people in my life to uplift me and encourage me. God sent people in my life to heal me. Speak life into me. Told me I can make it. Told me I was somebody. Because for so long, you can tell a child <clears throat> they're not going to amount to nothing. They're not going to be anything. You can call them all kind of names. And you can make that child hate themselves. You know, question self. And um, it was God who brought that positivity and love back in my life. Can you subscribe to my channel, Anna, that girl? Yes, I can subscribe to your channel. Yeah. If Queen wasn't doing music, what would you think she would be doing RN right now? Okay. Job-wise, I'm not sure. I, I know one thing I could tell you. What she, I don't know what she would be doing, but I'll tell you what she wouldn't be doing. Queen has a weak stomach. She would not be in the hospital. She would not do nursing. <laughs> That's one thing. She was like, no. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm not sure. Um, did you feel like the black sheep out of all of your mom's kid? If not, advice. Yes, I did feel like the black sheep. Um, out of my mama's kids, there's four of us. Um, my brothers and me. I felt like the black sheep because mama was just, <clears throat> mama loved boys. You know, you get them, you know, you, you got the moms. Sometimes you got the mamas that love girl babies and you got the mamas that love boy babies. Not to say my mama didn't love me, but my mama loved boy babies. Mama said, I don't like no girls. Y'all too whiny. Y'all whine. Y'all y'all too prissy. I don't like all that. And so I felt like her, her, her sons, I always called them every time I got mad at my mom, your three kings, but your three kings, that's all right. I just felt like I was the black sheep. I felt like I was misunderstood a lot, but I mean, that goes into the question, what was it like growing up? Um, I'm going to say this. I, I, I wasn't a happy child growing up, but. All things work together for the good. See, the enemy can make things bad, but God can turn it into good. Um, I was always a, a loner. I was always to myself. Um, I was too friendly. I trusted friends and they weren't really my friends. They would like, you know, wanna, you know, get me somewhere and beat me up or, get me somewhere and talk about me behind my back or laugh at me, you know, just, just stuff like that. You know, just coming up as a kid, um, I was always told that, um, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, light enough. Uh, my hair wasn't silky enough for the family that I was in. Um, I always felt like I was in the middle. I wasn't too light with the good hair and I wasn't too dark. So I got, picked on by dark-skinned people because they thought I was uppity and prissy and I wasn't. I was just quiet and docile and scary. I was a church girl. And then on the other side, you know, with the family, you know, you're not light enough. You're not, you know, you ain't got the good hair like we do, you know. So I was like kind of in between and I was confused about it. 
um I, I was kind of angry it made me um kind of uh you know question my identity you know just, just a lot of things coming up but today i'm a strong woman and i thank god for it and i and i recognize myself and i love myself i love my puffy kinky happy to be nappy hair um i embrace that as i told y'all before um I'm, I'm happy i love my complexion i love the way god made me i love my nose whether it's big you know whether my lips is too big you know i love myself and i thank god for that um those are things that i was told and um but i thank god for his love like i said and i thank god for the people along the way coming up in my life that he has put in my life that has encouraged me will you ever marry again if god if god say so if god allow it are you dating no i'm not dating right now somebody said can you say my name in the video so i'll know it's me but honestly i really love you i want to meet you hi renee huggins renee huggins renee said will you ever visit canada i love you so much your spirit is so good can't explain mama to god be the glory um Will I ever visit Canada? I visited Canada before. I gotta get I gotta get a passport though. I want to go over there in Canada. Natasha, I'm not gonna call her whole name. Natasha is in Canada. The Lord always used her to encourage me. And I wanna go uh, meet Tasha one day. I wanna hang out with Tasha. The evangelist Tasha. Natasha. What life-changing event drove you to share the word of God? My life experiences. Would you ever tell your daughter how much I look up to her? Shaylak. Shaylak, a uh, queen. Shaylak says she look up to you. <laughs> okay. Um, do you see yourself dating your pastor friend? I don't know. I don't know. I'm being honest. I don't know. I haven't asked, but I can't answer that. Okay, Marissa Nicole 4. Did you block me from your live videos? I don't see them anymore. Love your inspiration. No, Marissa, baby, I didn't block you. When I go live on Instagram, for some reason, dropped in my spirit that when you go live on Instagram, you went live. So delete the video after that. Del delete the live. I delete them. I don't, I don't keep them. When you feel like no one loves you, what should you do? I feel like that a lot. Shalia, Shalia Chandler. God loves you. I'm not just telling you that now. Because I be feeling like that. I be feeling unloved, unappreciated. Like, I'm in this world by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, kids, they grow up and leave. These in here talking about when they grow up, they leaving. When I get low like that and feel bad, and then also, let me get to the relation, the guys, it's like, am I so pretty like everybody's saying? And why, why everybody, why ain't find nobody? Why am I, you know, you're feeling on love. You know, you want to be the apple with somebody's eye. You know what I'm saying? You want that man, you find a stare across at you at the table like, mm, mm, mm. girl, you know you fine. <laughs> I love you, I adore you, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be wondering that too. You ain't by yourself. But know this. Love yourself first. Love yourself. God loves you. You're not by yourself. And when the time comes, it'll, it'll, fall, it'll come. It'll come. That's what I'm believing. So, you ain't by yourself, baby. How long have you been on your weight loss journey? I've been on my weight loss journey since November, I think. Yeah, it was in November. If you could go back and change any decision in life, what would it be? And that question is by most hated mary that's a good question it's a lot of things uh if i could go back in a lifetime and change okay well this is my main one and this will drop to my spirit i will be more obedient to my parents you reap what you sow i will be obedient to my mom and dad my dad told me to get my education and get all the schooling i can he said because when you get older it's gonna be a hard world 
I got my education when I wanted to. I could have been all I could be, but I waited later on and just grabbed some type of technical school. Um, he told me never to get big. You was always going to have problems with people going to look, look at you like you are lazy and stuff, especially jobs. They ain't going to want to hire big people. Um, uh, my mother would always tell me to, you know, keep my mind on the Lord and not on these boys and stuff like this. There's a lot of things that, you know, I wish I could go back and change. But the, the main thing, the decision in my life is I wish I was obedient to my parents because, and I listened to them when they told me things because a lot of things I wouldn't have went through. But I guess that's what made me strong, right? So at the same time, I'm, you know, that's that good that came out of it. So why did you start calling CJ Grand Poo Poo? CJ. Well, y'all talk about him. Um, you know how you call babies your poo poo? Come here, little poo poo. That's, and I, I only say he's not the grand, he's not grand poo poo. He is capital T H E. He is the grand poo poo. And I called him that, um, from birth. I said, oh, instead of my grandbaby, that's my grand poo poo. So I started calling him grand poo poo. And, um, somebody asked me, was I gonna, do I have a nickname for the baby, um, Lorenzo? Um, I don't have a nickname for him yet um i looked at cj and grand poo poo just i have to look at their face and see their little personality and name um cj is the grand poo poo um when i look at the new baby then i'll see the personality and i'll be like okay that's the nickname for that baby but of course he wouldn't be grand poo poo because then cj grand poo poo so i got i got my ways y'all so anyway i just want to tell y'all that i am so happy for my 100k i thank you all and more videos to come uh i got a part two coming up with tina's driving uh this time i won't have a bunch of ears i mean voices in the car because that was hilarious i had to laugh at that video myself y'all i wasn't really paying attention to the voice <laughs> he was yelling at girl i was so bad she was like forget it i don't ever want to try but i don't want her to get discouraged because she needs to learn how to drive you know so with that being said, like I said, thank you all. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.